all right so we're gonna click on add new and then we're gonna set up an SMTP and IMAP server so we're not gonna click on Google or Microsoft or any other inbuilt email providers so let's click on IMAP or SMTP and here we have the first name last name which we can just leave it as default uh, and then we have the email so we're gonna enter the email so I'm gonna cap my email and then I'm gonna write my email here oops I forgot to enter the LIS so I'll just do that then click next and we have we have our username filled out already then we have to enter the password of the email so find your password and then paste the password here done I did that next we have to enter the IMAP host now this part differs from email provider to email provider alright so there are a lot of email providers out there like Mikado, Namecheap, GoDaddy uh, but I use Kerjamel here so each of them have their own IMAP and SMTP settings pages so I'm just gonna use what I use that is the Kerjamel so I'm gonna input the host from here surprisingly you can notice that the host of Kerjamel are basically same for uh, like SMTP and for IMAP so I only have to copy this once and then I can paste for the SMTP as well and we're gonna use the IMAP S version instead of the normal IMAP because the port is 993 and if you go to instantly you can see that the port is already been filled out by instantly and that's 993 in the case of IMAP so I'm gonna choose IMAP S version that is the port with 993 and actually for me it doesn't even matter because instantly have already filled out the ports for you for both the IMAP and the SMTP so you really don't have to enter ports you just have to enter the host name and in this case the host name is same for IMAP and for SMTP so I'm, I just have to copy this once paste it in IMAP paste it in SMTP and that's done I'm done I'm just done so let me show you now so I'll come and paste the host name here and since port is already filled out I'm just gonna press next and it's testing the IMAP and it's done successful now in SMTP also the port is filled out and I just have to paste again the host here and then I'll just click on submit now before clicking submit you'll notice the set reply to and if you click that you will see this notice here so basically the set reply to is for when you want the replies to another mailbox and this can be useful in some use cases but for most people you won't require that and I think you can change this later in the settings so I'm gonna uh, keep it unchecked and I'll go and press on the submit button it's testing and it's done successful it's connected it's that easy it's that easy to connect your email provider with SMTP and IMAP into instantly I hope you subscribe because I'll be releasing a warm-up video on this soon and by the time you are watching this it's probably out so I'll create a playlist exclusively for all of these instantly videos so subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye